Earlier tonight, we got a look at some of the artifacts being uncovered right now at the bottom of Lake Mead, where those water levels keep dropping. And authorities there, they've uncovered something much more gruesome in the past year. We've been reporting on this, the bodies of six people, including some who may have been murdered. Here's Fox 10's Marissa Sarbach. Lake Mead is roughly 30 miles from the Las Vegas Strip. And since May of this year, six bodies have been pulled from the water. As the water levels continue to drop, many believe that number will continue to go up. In May, when there was a body that was discovered inside a barrel, they believe that it was a homicide because it was a gunshot to the head. Almost as quickly as the first body appeared, Las Vegas Metro PD labeled it a homicide investigation. It did showcase that probably from 1975 to 1980 due to the clothing that was on the actual victim that goes back to supposedly um, the, like the original brand of Kmart, you know, their, their company brand. And from there, they're trying to identify the body. David Kohlmeyer is retired from the neighboring Henderson, Nevada Police Department, but he's still making it his mission to help solve the case with tips from the public. He turned his podcast, The Problem Solver, into a TV show hey, and is offering a reward of $5,000 to any certified diver who discovers another body in a barrel in Lake Mead. That was body number one. In the months following, a second body has turned up, then a third, fourth, fifth and sixth. We are technically at body number six. Recently in Calville Bay, which is north of Hemingway, which is where the body in the barrel was located, they did locate um, some other skeletal remains. Only the first body was actually found inside a barrel, and when it happened back in May, a lieutenant on the homicide unit did tell Fox 10 about the challenges a discovery like this poses, since all that's left are bones. It's going to be a challenge for investigators because to determine can we even extract DNA. You have to think back to the 1980s. None of the databases that are in existence today even existed back then. So it's not like we're going to have this person's DNA on file. Las Vegas PD has not labeled any body discovery since a homicide investigation. But Kohlmeyer isn't convinced. We, we do believe that these other um, bodies that have been located of skeletal remains, of course, local law enforcement will say that we don't suspect foul play. But what's very interesting about that statement is if I was to choke you, if I was to cut you, and there's no flesh on the bones, how do you truly know what took place? He says body number two has been identified as a drowning victim, but questions surrounding bodies one, three, four, five, and six remain. If you look at a bone and there's no gunshot or there's no, let's say, stab wound in the bone, then you would say there's no foul, foul play. But the truth is you don't know what has took place. Since the Hoover Dam was constructed in the 1930s and Lake Mead filled up, the water level has never been this low. With the water level still steadily dropping, things and bodies are starting to surface. Kohlmeyer thinks this is just the beginning. There's over 100 barrels inside Lake Mead, which doesn't make sense, right? When they built Hoover Dam back in the day, they must have left supplies and barrels inside Lake Mead instead of moving them back in the day. It probably was easier just to flood the water inside. A lot of people have some conspiracy theories about that and what's inside these different barrels. If you find one body in a barrel, is there a second one? Is there a third? These questions led the former law enforcement officer to spark a deeper conversation on his podcast and TV show. He says the mystery at Lake Mead has gone viral. Now, there are almost 20, 25 bodies a year that are drowning victims. So we really truly don't know. But if this was the stomping grounds of organized crime or the mafia or it could have been motorcycle gang related, who knows, Lake Mead has always been known as a place that would be a great place as dumping grounds. Reporting at Lake Mead, Marissa Sarbach, Fox 10 News.